Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the Botanic Garden of Marburg in the non-public part of the Cactus and Succulent Collection. And a lot of the bigger cactus fruit right now are gone. So I have to live off the tiny fruit of the Ripsalis cactus. But don't despair, there are tons and tons of different Ripsalis species here which I can try. So Ripsalis is an epiphytic cactus which usually grows on rainforest trees. As far as I remember, Ripsalis was also the sole cactus that managed to uh, spread into Africa without help from humans. But up here I don't have internet, so I cannot even research all the species. So, long story short, let's start trying this Ripsalis collection. And thanks a lot to the gardeners of the Botanic Garden of Marburg for allowing me to eat the Ripsalis fruit. So we start with Ripsalis bakifera. I think this is the one which spreads into the African rainforest. Small white fruit, no glocket. Hmm. No taste basically. Hmm. Well, here we have, well, this is Lepispium lumbricoides. Well, we can basically do it in the same video. This is very similar plant, very similar fruit, just smaller. Also, no, no taste at all, but a um, tiny bit slimy. Here we have Ripsales sansibarica, the sansibar cactus. Well, this is a cactus from the east of Africa. Sansibar is an island east of Africa, so maybe this is the cactus which spread into Africa on its own account. As you can see, it looks a lot different. It has a lot of glockets even on the fruit. Okay, and the fruit are bright red. Hmm, nice. Hmm, it's pretty mild, a bit sour, a bit sweet, and with a taste like, um, yeah, like all those red cacti. It seems all the opuntia which have bright red color have a specific taste associated with that color. And even the Ripsalis of the same or similar color has a similar taste. I don't know how to describe it. It's a taste I associate with red cactus fruit and it seems to, it seems to be present in a lot of the red cactus fruit. Here we have a Ripsalis pilosa with green fruit, green spineless fruit or glockless fruit. I think there was a trace of taste, but just a trace, not strong enough to even describe it properly. Pseudoripsalis ramulosa, also small white fruit. Yeah, a trace of sweetness. Of course, I don't know if the fruit are perfectly developed here because, of course, they have different conditions than in their native habitat. Less light than in the rainforest. They grow up on the trees in the rainforest as epiphytes. So I don't know if those are supposed to taste stronger, but let's continue. Le Ripsalis clavata. Well, not really white, but more like a beige color. Also not taste. Hmm. Ripsalis pilocarpa. This Ripsalis pilocarpa looks a lot like Ripsalis sansibarensis. I wonder if it's also an African species. The fruit also look a lot like Ripsalis sansibarensis. Hmm. 
lästeisti den Ripsales Sansibarenses. I like the Sansibarenses fruit better. Hmm. What do we have here? Ripsales Mesembryanthemoides. Again, those small white glocketless fruit. Again, basically no taste. Ripsalis platycarpa. The cactus looks very different. The fruit seem to be something intermediate there. Pinkish, but have no glockets. Tasteless. Hmm. Ripsalis casulta. Well, let's try this Ripsalis casulta. Same thing. Hmm. And here there are some Ripsales. It just says where they were collected, but no species name. Well, cacti are notoriously hard to identify. What do we have here? Ripsales batsifera. I think we already had this one. This also seems to be a Ripsales with very thin stems, but no fruit. Ripsales lumbricoides with tiny white fruit. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Same thing, all those tiny white fruits seem to be tasteless. Hmm. Ripsales another Bactifera. Okay, this could this is also Ripsalis paradoxa, but I don't see fruit on this Ripsalis paradoxa, neither on this one. Hmm. Here another Ripsalis, Ripsalis, Ripsalis pilosa. Well, the, f the plant looks a lot like Ripsalis sansibarica, but the fruit are greenish and have no Oh. oh yeah, they have a few, they have a few glockets on the fruit. Okay, now I'm curious. Tasteless. Okay, so at least from all the numerous Ripsalis species in the Botanic Garden of Marburg, the only one with tasty fruit. Ah, wait, there is a, no, it's not, um, here is a pseudo ripsalis ramulosa. Did we already have this one? Well, let's try it. A trace of taste, but nothing special. So of all the ripsalis fruit, ripsalis sansibarica was the only one here in the Botanic Garden of Marburg which I would consider word foraging. Yeah, tastes more or less like Opancia robusta or Opancia or Opancia dileni or Opancia tuna or also some of the really purple varieties of Opancia ficus indica. So yeah, Ripsalis sansibarica from Zanzibar from East Africa is the only Ripsalis here in this collection, which I would consider interesting for foraging. Of course, the other ones are also very interesting in terms of conservation. But for eating the fruit, it's just Ripsalis sansibarica. So folks, this was the Ripsalis collection in the Botanic Garden of Marburg. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful Botanic Garden of Marburg. Thumbs up to the great gardeners of the Botanic Garden of Marburg and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.